Hi, Dave. Hey, man. How's it going? Good. Nice hat. Thanks. Um, got it about two years ago. Okay. Uh, there's a shop out of LA, and uh, some independent artists make it, so it makes different. Oh, hats. did you go to a streetwear shop? Um, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, this is a streetwear shop. <laughs> was it down like Fairfax or? Um, I'm trying to think where in town it was. It was closer to Santa Monica somewhere. Okay. Uh, but I couldn't give you the exact yeah. digits. So that's the, Fairfax is kind of where all the street streetwear okay. shops are. So yeah. Um yeah, so I did that. We have we have a couple streetwear shops here in Phoenix. They're yeah. they're spread out all over though, so it's kind of okay. what's the what's the one everyone should go to? <sighs> that's a good question. Um, I, it depends on what part of town you're in. Um, okay. uh, there's, there's one off of central and Indian school and they focus a lot on, on jerseys on. So if you're like looking for nineties replica, NBA, NFL, did this happen since I left town? Yes. That's a new, that's a newer, that's a newer. Okay. Uh, shop they've moved closer to central downtown okay uh, it used to be like it used to be over at 16th street in indian school by the 51 real used to be a real small little gotcha. shop and they've expanded so they do shoes and they do uh retro jerseys so okay nice. um, yeah so yeah that's nice. cool. hey before we move on to the t-shirt uh, yes who are you i'm dave uh Hi, dave. <laughs> Dave, Dave, what do you do with your life? Um, hard to say, but I'm a I'm a pastor, and, and I've been one for for a while. And I'm uh, I'm in the midst of transitioning from one church to another right now. We're we're shopping for new home. We're yeah. uh, looking for preschool for our son, and uh, we're just moving from one part of uh, the valley in Phoenix to another. Okay, yeah. you know some some people don't call themselves pastors; they call themselves spiritual entrepreneurs i learned that today um that's getting pretty big for your britches in my book well i'm not gonna tell you who said it then you're just, you're gonna have to find you're gonna find you're gonna find out did you talk to her out. at three o'clock i might have yeah <sighs> this conversation by the way is sponsored by topo chico this is oh not the God. only thing i've been drinking since the lockdown happened and um <laughs> i'm hooked so, well, the good news is, is our last, my last conversation was sponsored by Dutch Brothers and McDonald's. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know. In all the, all the sponsorships in here. Uh, get yeah. them all in. Yeah. Good. Okay. Um, tell me about the t-shirt. Um, so this t-shirt um, is from Gracie's Tax Bar and it is a little hole in the wall uh bar in downtown phoenix i think they're four or five years old uh and uh they they really try to run a pretty eclectic but homey atmosphere for a bar uh yeah. it's kind of like a posh dive bar anyways so i don't um, i don't know why you like it but yeah who would you know? know i yeah. drink topo, topo chico so right. um, topo chico it hits the spot right. yeah but I'm gonna but google we, that later <laughs> but uh um i am uh one of my friends is friends with the ownership there and okay. and i have a lot of relationships with folks in the food service industry here in town and uh because of the closings a lot of a lot of folks need the support so one of the ways people tried to drum up some extra tips and money for service workers who weren't working were that they just mass printed tons of shirts so i've spent oh, that. the past couple months now buying t-shirts whenever I can because number one I wear a lot of t-shirts you do and, and number two it's it's an easy way not only to financially chip in a little bit when you can here and there with a restaurant but then like wearing it shows that like you're supporting them too and people ask you questions and they say is it a good bar and you're like it depends on what you like in a bar but yes it's right. a great bar do you like the hipster eclectic home, yeah. home feel downtown yeah, yeah. It's, jerseys it's, it's if you're more comfortable in a Chili's, this is probably not your scene, but um, there's anything wrong with that. No, there's nothing wrong with that. We do, no. 
before lockdown, Katie and, and my son, Finn and I, uh, my son, we would uh, we'd go to Chili's once or twice a week just for like a family meal because kids eat free. So oh, it's not yeah. a judgment. It's yeah. just a, a yeah. style preference. Yeah. Oh, we, we, we've been ordering Chili's because whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just whatever. New topic. New topic. <laughs> New topic. You talking about food? <laughs> oh, love food. Oh, you're, you cook. I do cook. What are we cooking? Um, a lot of the a lot of the basics with a lot of just uh, on the fly whatever's available additions from the grocery store. We're doing the the pickup grocery store stuff, so mm -hmm. I'm not walking in to like to dig through what the best of the best is. So whatever we click and we get, we're making meals out of, and it's. I'd like to think we're making Alton Brown proud because we're being really uh, adaptable <laughs> and diverse. Yeah. I, you can only make cor uh, corn so many ways, but we have just about hit them. Uh, okay. Every every okay. way to all make all seven of them. Yeah. There. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There's like seven. You're right. Yeah. Um, uh, but we're eating healthy, and that's something that that this that that staying at home has changed for our family. Is we were an eat out and fast food family, like really yeah. heavy, and yeah. so we've saved a ton of 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 uh unnecessary what should i say calories. Uh, yeah calories heart, heart and, surgeries and, yeah food yeah. that might end up on the thighs for me uh -huh. um aren't there so a lot more veggies and uh, uh it's been cool it's been i mean it's as soon as it, it just don't don't think that i'm changing over and creating a good life for myself as soon as this thing ends it's popeye's I'm, chicken sandwiches all day it's long. popeye's it's taco bell it's all the pizza yeah. Yeah, no, I'm going back. Yeah, well, uh, I'm gonna help you with that. Oh, can I show you something? Yes, please. Okay, go, and it's gonna go explain. I also picked up a small addiction. Okay, um, cocaine. Yes, but that's another topic. Hold oh, on. Okay. All right. Okay, right, I'm right here. So, um, there's two things particularly. I wanted to share with you. Now, this this happened right. before the the Michael Jordan special came on TV. Oh, but okay. you 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 know I'm a baseball and basketball guy. I do. And and we grew up in the '90s. And '90s basketball to me is like, it's never going to be '90s basketball. Nothing, nothing like it. That that right. is what the Last Dance convinced me of. Is just like the, this that era just mm, like will never be be reproduced. Like like at, the rivalries. That's the, it. The shade thrown left and right, the literal punches thrown left and right. The physicality of the game, uh, like basketball, is different than it is now. Than it, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I, I have a very romanticized view of '90s basketball. That being said, I've always had one or two of those uh, 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 champion NBA uh, replica jerseys. I've started picking up a lot more. Okay. And i i wanted to sh I wanted to show you two of my newest ones. Yes, let's do it. Okay. Let's see if I can do a cool screen reveal. Okay. Without without blowing it, and I want to see if you can guess who it is. Okay. Number one. Oh oh, Lakers. Is this Lakers? Yep. Okay. Vladi Divots. Eddie Jones. Oh, Eddie Jones. Eddie Jones. <laughs> Eddie Jones. <laughs> Eddie Jones. Yes. Oh, Eddie Jones. Talk about we're getting real niche here. <laughs> like. Okay, let yeah. me one let I'm, me one up myself. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna do well here. I can tell. This is a different jersey. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's do you're it. gonna get you're gonna get this one. Okay. Okay, nine. Hold on. Oh, Nick Van Exel. Beautiful. <laughs> Isn't that dope? Yeah. Anyways. I found I've I've just been I've been bidding and talking to guys and doing trades with sports cards and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. So I even get like real obscure ones like this one from the Bucks, Ken Norman. And unless you know who Ken Norman is, no. that doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't. But uh, I've just been having a blast. I have I have about twelve or thirteen nineties. Uh, you know, originally these aren't remakes. These were all printed in the nineties, and people have stored them or kept them or whatever. Yeah. But uh, I have a closet now. So, so you're turning into that guy from from Robbie's World on Netflix. Slobby's World, yes. Slobby, yes. Slobby yeah. Robbie. 
Um, Bobby Robbie. So, so in about 20, 30 years, some, some Netflix special is going to come to your house, open yes. your garage out in the Tucson suburbs. Mm -hmm. with, that's just Probably. packed full of Probably. of those uh, Tupperware containers of God well, knows what. Like here's, here's where I think I've had this discovery about, about guys, maybe parent dads. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's all parents. Sure. But like my hope is really that my son sees these in about 13 years and he wants them. Uh -huh. Like, and I want to give them to him. Yeah. <laughs> like I uh -huh. want him to be nostalgic about nineties NBA like me. Is yeah. that going to happen? Of course not. That's insanity. Yeah. No. But, um, you know, no. it, it's weird. My my dad says the same thing about all his crap. I know. I'm, I'm only keeping this because I want you to have it and like it. I said, uh -huh. yeah. My dad has like a 357 in his safe, and he's like, if you ever need it, okay. All right. I to defend, defend your jerseys. I don't. At this point, I might now. No, I yeah. wouldn't do that. I'm not a gun guy. So, you know, yeah. I grew up hunting, but I don't own any guns. And my yeah. dad's like, you'll be grateful one day. And I'm like, you know, it might, it might get traded. <laughs> get traded for, for a bucket of potatoes. Just... Who knows what the economy yeah. is going to look like in 10 years. I don't know. Right. So, um, anyway. Let's get spiritual. Yes. Cool. Um, I, see, I, like I see some spirituality behind you. The... I see um, Saint Saint Anthony, other way. There you go. Yeah. Yes. Saint Anthony, oh, yes. and is that Saint uh, Winger? Yes, it is. Um, these are this is yeah. Um, saint Anthony and Saint Winger. Oh. Uh, this is Saint uh, Anthony the Opinionated, uh -huh. and this yes. is Saint uh, Saint Winger the the liar. Yes. So. so I want you to give me a short spiritual learning from each of those guys. Absolutely. Um, Anthony Bourdain is, is kind of a, a set of spiritual framework for me when it comes to listening to voices outside of my own echo chamber. Um, <clears throat> I am, I am one of the masses who, when I get stressed out, I go and, and sometimes I find a, uh, reaffirmment in myself by listening pe to people who agree with me all the time. And then I say like, Oh, I'm not crazy. Uh, but what Anthony would do is he would go into places and he would allow himself to be exposed in a way, both, both externally and internally that uh, uh, he would even write in some of his books about the changes in his life. Yeah. Uh, so th that is a challenge to me to not, to not rest on my heels and, and, and assume my story is the only one being told. Yeah. Love so it, there's love. that. Uh, Winger, if you ever watched the TV show Community, uh, Jeff Winger is played by an actor, Joel McHale. I, I think he's really funny. But the story is, is really a redemptive se story over six seasons mm -hmm. about a selfish person. And, and can a selfish person truly uh, uh, change, their, their, uh, change their ways? And, and what does throwing yourself into a community of people that on the outset doesn't look like it would benefit you, how that really transforms your life. Uh, if you ever watch the show community, to me, it's actually a little microcosm of, of, uh, uh, of any tribal life, whether it's church or a nonprofit organization that you're yeah. on or a, a block that has a bunch of friends that unite. Uh, community is a story about how our brokenness actually makes us stronger. Yeah. You know, um, in a more literal sense, um, I, I'm a community college, proud community college grad. Yes. Hospicitas College. Like it. California. Yes. Also known as UCBC. Mm -hmm. The University of California behind Costco. Uh, is your ma mascot the flying slugs? No. Um, I think it's like the Hawks or something. Well. The, the sports ultimate frisbee was kind of the deal. Ultimate Frisbee and soccer, I think, were the only two. In Southern yeah. California? No. Oh, Northern Bay Area. This is the Bay Area. Oh, Bay, Bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that makes more sense. Yeah. Who plays yeah. Ultimate Frisbee in, Frisbee in L.A.? That's... Yeah. No, I finished, finished at Long Beach State. So I, yeah. I did the whole tour of California for college. That's right. But anyway, I was going to say, I never had like a, like a literal crew, like the, the group in, in community. Yeah. But 
there were these friends I made in the three years I was there that were like these indispensable relationships of um, like, I don't know that any of us would have like made it through without each other um, kind of thing. There's just something about community college where you know, most everyone is, you know, coming yes. from a place where you obviously didn't get some big old scholarship to go, you know, off and live that on campus life. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and we're all working 40 hours a week to put ourselves through um, and, and just trying to grind out those classes and, and try to get to that, that next level, whatever, whatever it was. Whatever the next step is. Yeah. And, um, you know, some of those, those study groups, um, those, those relationships, like, man, if I, I haven't talked to any of those people in years, but if I ran into to some of them, um, you know, and they were like, Hey man, I need a hundred bucks. Like no question. Dude. No I question. Yeah. 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 And that's, I mean, isn't that the type of relationship we crave for? Like, uh, like I, I, I have a handful of friends who I know I could not see in a minute, but, but if, if something were to hit and hit, that was bad news for me, they'd be by my side in a heartbeat. Oh yeah. And, uh, that is, uh, yeah, I hope, I hope everyone feels that way. I don't have the confidence that they do, but, uh, yeah. so yeah, I actually just, uh, Saturday night this week, I just finished binging through community again. I just watched through the entire show again and, yeah. uh, just as satisfying that's that is probably my favorite sitcom yeah so. i'm I, I started um started again as well i'm almost nice. through, back through season one is good is it's good perfect. you get through the uh the gas or uh, the you gotta get through that gas leak season season four and then uh oh yeah that, that weird season yeah mm -hmm. it's when yeah the original creator was off of the show for yeah. a year yeah they did the reunion did you see the reunion i did um, i watched that the reunion? i watched that yeah. all the way through it was oh it, it was, was really good yeah. Chevy, Chase, Chevy Chase wasn't on it though. No, because he had died that episode. Yeah. Uh, not real life. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, next serious topic. Oh, yes. Yeah. So serious topics. We do. Uh, <laughs> what you and I do. I know. Because we are all serious all the time. Mm -hmm. um, how has your work? How has your work changed? Your work the changed. A couple months. Uh, so I am, uh, I'm, I'm in the process of, uh, uh, of attempting to transfer my ordination to the United Methodist Church. It's a, it's, a, it's another denomination, another, yeah. another one year yeah. Christianity. We're another denomination. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't know who in your listening base is religious and who isn't. I'm trying yeah. to assume it's uh, not just a bunch of past, your pastor friends who are going to watch No, this. it's not. This is everyone. All right. So people like known for. Long time. In Christianity, we have a bunch of little fight clubs, and we decide to play by our own rules because we can't get along with each other. Mm -hmm. We call those little fight clubs denominations, and we stay in our little clubs until we feel like we don't fit. Is that right? Is this what you told the Board of Ordinary Ministry? No. Oh, okay, good. Are they going to see this? Uh, no, none of them. Okay, good. Um, so. um, yeah, I think, so I think I, we get it. I think I think you get it. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, I've been taking some classes. Is that your dog? Is your dog growling? Is that guest? He's, he's snoring on my lap. Okay. Cool. So, I won't do the ubiquitous Zoom pick up your dog and show him off thing. So, I have a friend. Nobody will hate you if you do. Oh, look at that! He's the biggest he, French bulldog. If of anyone all time. wasn't watching yet. They'll see the dog and they'll be like, oh, go to watch the dog. You can use this as the screen grab thing. Oh, there you go. Right? Uh, right? We'll never, won't ever do this with a cat. No, cat will scratch me up. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, I've been doing work to prepare for transferring my ordination. And uh, some of that was uh, me taking some extra grad school classes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd already taken grad school classes. I'd already had my, my degree, but... Uh, I had, I, uh, I needed to take a few more uh, for the for the Methodist Church, and so I've been doing that this spring, which actually was a perfect time. Again, terrible time. Didn't wish any of us were going through it, but it landed me at home with plenty of time to read and study and write papers. So um, I have zero complaints about that. Uh, nice. I'm getting ready to get. I said earlier, I was getting ready to say goodbye to one church and hello to another one. And, and that's always a, it's, it's, it's stressful. Um, 
you know, as a as, as somebody who takes <clears throat> uh, ministry as their calling and their profession, uh, it's it's not a forty hour job where you just kind of check in and check out. You're you're connected to the community of people you have like all the time, and so uh, you have emotional connections to people that are hard to break, but. Uh, because it's best for it's who we are as 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 Methodist folks, uh, we we understand that we uh, we're called to move at certain times to a different community because maybe our what we can do is better somewhere else than what we're doing yeah. where we are. Maybe there's a different need. Anyways, um, and you hope it's not season four. And you hope that there's not a gas leak. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but this this I've I've already received like communication and a lot of love from this church that I'm going to. So it makes, it makes what could be a stressful transition in a weird time yeah. a, a lot easier. So the hardest part about this whole thing is house hunting. Katie and I have gotten kind of tossed under the bus a couple times. So the market's great for sellers, not so good for buyers. So Yeah. Well, you guys will do it. You know, <clears throat> I believe we will. Yeah. And as long as before we go out and look at hose, hi, houses, we uh, hydrate with Topo Chico. Topo Chico. We'll be fine. Yeah. Check in the mail. Check in the mail. Okay, yeah. we've reached we've reached the time of our episode where you get to ask me a question. <clears throat> Rob, how long do you think Matt Chapman is going to stay in Oakland Athletic? Oh, um, okay. So Matt Chapman is the third baseman for the Oakland A's, the greatest uh, baseball team in my heart. There. Nobody can argue with that. No. Yes. Um, uh, two, two years in a row now, uh, gold platinum glove, I think. Mm -hmm. glove. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, doing much better with the bat than anyone ever thought. Yep. Um, just incredible. Mm -hmm. um, holding down the hot corner. And uh, my team, though, uh, is you know it's Moneyball, it's Billy Bean. Go watch the movie Brad Pitt. Mm -hmm. um, and Moneyball is all about buying low and selling high. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what his contract term is. So I could actually probably give you an exact how many years he'll be in A, uh, because typically when those guys when their first contract is up, which is literally he's getting paid like a hundred thousand. Couple yeah, hundred thousand dollars a year. It's pretty low, yeah. On, on his his rookie contract, um, when that's up, that's usually when they'll they'll you know flip them that the year before. Yes. The team that's that's looking, um, so they get get some prospects. Get some new back. prospects. Fill in the farm system. Yeah. So, um, so if we have them three, four more years. Um, that probably would be good. I know um, we're building a stadium down there, and um, yeah, you are uh, in the Bay in Oakland, and but I you know with uh, all the pandemic stuff going on. Not sure if that's going to happen now. Um, I, I bet the stadium will yeah. be built. <clears throat> yeah, but they're going to want the. That's supposed to open twenty twenty three if that stays on track. Okay. And so the, the idea is is that they have kind of a young superstar to to build that stadium around. So that may be the only thing where they keep him on a you know sign him to a big contract if he's still producing to move tickets. Yeah, yeah, good. yeah. I like him. Uh, yeah. I think he's a, I think he's a great ball player. And I was just, uh, I was just looking at some stuff about him and I was thinking about you this week. And that was a, yeah. a question I had for you. I try not to think too hard about baseball because it makes me sad. Um, I've been playing a lot of uh, MLB, the show on PlayStation to, oh, fantastic. um, to make it up. Uh, and I, I, I created a player and you like try to get that player from the minor leagues up to the big leagues. Uh -huh. What's his name? <clears throat> and uh, he's a he's a starting pitcher for Oakland, actually. His name is Del Pettigrew, and he's a knuckleball guy. Mm. And uh, we just finished a season uh, with a uh, – we lost the first round of the playoffs. But, uh, okay. We'll uh, get him next year. We'll get him next year. It'll be great. So. Yeah. boy. Yeah, keep trying. Yeah. So now that um, just about everyone has dropped off this video – are you kidding? This is quality content. I know. I mean, I'd watch it all day. Brian I will. I want, no, he won't. Brian's moving to Nebraska. What are they going to do out there for entertainment? He'll watch this every week. I don't know. I'll interview him sometime next week. Please. Yeah. Actually, I kind of want to wait for him to get to Nebraska. And just see <laughs> what's going. Just do it. Nebraska's just fine. Do a knee check. 
Yeah. There's, there's absolutely. We love, we love our friends in Nebraska. We love all of our. I don't know anyone in Nebraska. I will know two adults in a Nebraska adults. in yeah. about a month. <laughs> yeah. So, so all that being said, um, you got a word of folk. Uh, word of hope. Word of folk. Word of folk. You got a word of folk. Uh, I don't. Know. Word. You got a word of hope. Yeah. For all the yeah. folks watching. <clears throat> Man. Yeah, I do. You know what? Um, this is, this is, uh, 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 I saw, I saw somebody else talking about like, if you were, if you were leaving a message behind, if you were going to, if you knew this was it for you and you're going to pass on and some archeologist was going to pass up, you know, find a journal note for, from you, you know, 20 years, 30 years, a hundred years from now, what would it say? What would it mean? What would your legacy be? And I'm, I'm quickly becoming convinced, um, that the three words that, that matter the most in, in anything I, I leave behind or that I encourage folks to do is this, uh, it's real simple, but it's got lots of layers to it. Uh, it's help each other. Mm. I, I, I am, um, I, that's all we got anymore. I, you know, we, it's, it's help each other, help each other. And I hope that, that, that kind of combines the, you know, the golden rule stuff of how we take care of people, the way we want to be treated. And stuff. But it, it's, uh, I, I, I don't think I want to live anymore in a, in a scarcity versus abundance economy anymore. I, I want to live in an economy where needs are dealt with, um, both external and internal. And I just, I just want to help however I best can. And sometimes that means interfering and getting, getting in the way and standing in the gap and, and, and doing something. And sometimes that means shutting up and listening and, and just being present. And uh, I, uh, my encouragement was it would be to anyone is just, if you were willing to be there and to help each other, uh, we will get through this in a better, we will get through anything in a better way than, um, than what we're currently doing. Yeah. So. yeah. Cool, man. Cool, That's dude. It's a great word. This is and, fun. Yeah, this is good. Well, thanks. Thanks for being one of the first uh, guinea pigs and um, yeah, we'll have you on in, in a couple more years. I, you know what? Yeah. I will, I'll, I'll mark it down on my calendar. I think I have like um, 1,700 people on my Facebook friends list, so so we'll get you the second time around. Are you gonna go through all of them? Yeah, why not? Uh, there are a couple names I'm gonna be really interested to see the interviews for. I feel like I should be low on the totem pole. <laughs> I feel like there were at least 1,684 of your friends that would be much more interesting than mine, but I really appreciate yeah. you letting yeah. me do this today. It's been fun. Well, well, you know, you know who's getting the invite soon is um, he's he's been throwing some some lowball shade. Oh, on the Facebook. Oh yeah, yeah, he's making an appearance here and there. Mister Mister Famous himself. You know who I'm talking about. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. It's gonna happen. So, so Jared. Jared, your invite's coming, buddy. Yeah, yeah. You know, I never say that anybody by the name of Jared ever big-timed you and I together. Yeah. But I can say that someone named Jared big-timed me. Yeah. I think he's – anyway, we'll bring that up. I'll bring that up with him. <laughs> he didn't big-time me. I love that guy so much. Whatever. That's Everybody cool. loves him. <laughs> we're, all just, we're all just trying to be him. So He's so okay. philosophical. All right. All right. All right. Miss you. Miss you. Drink Topo Chico, kids. <laughs> Topo Chico. Goodbye today. Goodbye, guys. Bye.